Good morning, grade tens. So today we're going to start our quadratics unit. Uh, that's a fancy word. We're going to be dealing with a few fancy words this chapter, uh, like parabola. Parabola is the name of this curve here. It can look like this, or it can go the opposite way. Okay, so those are our two parabolas. It can be a little bit more narrow or wide, and we'll kind of get to that later on in the chapter. So the first thing we're going to look at is the direction of opening. Does this open up or, or down? So in this one, this opens down. So there's our first key feature of this parabola. Okay, our second one, the vertex. This is kind of uh, the highest or lowest point in our graph. So you can see here at negative 1 and 4. So our vertex. Okay, so this is kind of the peak of our parabola. If it was going the other way, it would be at the bottom of the parabola. So our vertex, that would be our vertex here for number two. Axis of symmetry. Now, this parabola, it's symmetrical. So you can see on both sides, it kind of uh, is kind of like a mirror image of each other. Uh, yeah, so then a, the axis of symmetry is going to be a vertical line that kind of passes through the middle. So every vertical line has an equation that starts with x equals a number. So in this case, x equals negative 1. There's our axis of symmetry. Now, this parabola, does it have a maximum value or a minimum value? So we can see because it opens down, it's going to have a highest value. So that's going to be this value here. So our maximum, we have a max here, and that's equal to 4. Uh, X-intercepts and Y-intercepts. I'll start with uh, number 6 here. So our Y-intercept, we know from all our linear relations, is where it hits the Y-axis. So this is going to be number 6. Our y-intercept would be 0, 3. So when x is 0, y is 3. x-intercepts, we've got two of them. So here at, so we have 1, 0, and we have negative 3, 0. And this is in our, our fifth point here. So we've got our x and y-intercepts, and the step pattern, in this case, it's always going to be 1a, 3a, 5a. Don't really worry about the a's just yet, because we're going we're gonna to deal with that along the way. But you can see, as we go right one, we went down one. We went right one, we went down three. We went right one, and down five. So here's our one, three, five. And same thing on this side. One, three, and five. Okay, so we're going to have a pattern like that that emerges with all of our parabolas. So, this chapter, we're just kind of getting comfortable with these crazy looking graphs. We're not going to do anything too intense just yet. Uh, it's going to be a short chapter. We'll kind of get into a bit more challenging things next chapter. Right now, we just want to learn about the different features of our graph here. All right, this is all I got for today.